it's absolutely fantastic. Brick resident Lester Carrillo can't help but smile today. This morning, the Ocean County homeowner made the move back into his waterfront house for the first time since Sandy hit over two months ago. God's been very good to us, and then to have this happen, it, it just hurts. Brick Mayor Stephen Acropolis says Sandy caused $40 million worth of damages to this residential community, and getting people back into their homes has been their number one priority. For us, that's the big push because we are a residential community. We don't have the boardwalk, we don't have the rides, we don't have those things. We have people's homes. There are 1,300 homes on the Barrier Island section of Brick. 109 of those homes burned to the ground, and another 80 to 100 homes are deemed uninhabitable. The mayor says another 8,500 homes on Brick's mainland were damaged. Well, Brick has the more waterfront property than any other town in the state of New Jersey. In addition, according to FEMA, we've had the highest number of homes that are either, uh, you know, are going to have to be knocked down or are completely gone already. The beaches are still closed as contractors build man-made dunes. A pedestrian curfew is in effect from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily, and there's a boost in police presence. Once uh, we remove the checkpoints and open the island uh, up to unfettered access, if you will, uh, we had found it necessary to increase our police presence out there. We've probably got seven to eight times more police officers out there than we would have on a normal shift. Second homeowner Henry West credits these pilings with saving the foundation of his vacation getaway. It feels good because everybody down here really did their job and stepped up to the plate. Deborah Menzel moved back into her Tom's River home this morning. It was just a, a great feeling to come home and not have to go back to the hotel. I, I, in fact, I said to my husband, I think you have to carry me across the, the uh, threshold you know, because we're back full time. As for Lester Carrillo, he now faces $50,000 worth of damages, but his determination hasn't wavered. We never give up. We keep fighting, and we all should remember that. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Brick.